Hi, everyone. Darren Pritchett with you. Sports Beat AM is served weekday mornings from 6 to 9 on Sports Radio 960 WSBT. I'll be recapping the Notre Dame Cincinnati game Monday morning. But right now, I'm going to attempt to guarantee five things from the matchup at Notre Dame Stadium on Saturday, the seventh ranked Fighting Irish facing the eighth ranked Cincinnati Bearcats. Away we go with guarantee number one. Cincinnati quarterback Desmond Ritter will be involved in three touchdowns. Ritter is an experienced quarterback, 6'4 senior, versatile. He throws the deep ball as good as anybody that Notre Dame will see on the schedule this year. He also has 24 career rushing touchdowns. Number four, until last week, Kyron Williams and Chris Tyree combined for at least five catches over the first three games. Now, last week against Wisconsin, they combined for just one. I will attempt to guarantee that Williams and Tyree will at least match their season high for catches when they had 10 against Florida State. I think they're going to be heavily involved in the passing game against Cincinnati. Guarantee number three, each team will record three sacks in the ballgame. Now, Cincinnati only has four over the first three games, but pass protection has been an issue for the Fighting Irish. Notre Dame, number 128 out of 130 teams in sacks allowed per game at 5.25. That's unbelievable. And I think Notre Dame, who has 14 sacks over the first four games, will be able to get to Ritter on occasion. So I'm going to say both teams will have at least three sacks in the ball game. Guarantee number four. I believe with five minutes to go in the game, this will be a one-possession ball game. And I feel like the team that gets the ball last is going to win this ball game, which leads to my game prediction. I really went back and forth all week in the summer and in the fall when I made my predictions. I had Cincinnati winning this football game. But the Bearcats, to me, have not played a great game yet. They really struggled in week two against Murray State, an FCS school that was 7-7 at halftime. Then they blew them out in the second half, as they should have. They did not play mistake-free football at Indiana in the first half. The Hoosiers were up at halftime and led going to the fourth quarter when the Bearcats played a really good fourth quarter behind Ritter and won 38-24. They were on a bye last week. I think it hurts them. They probably needed to play another football game. Notre Dame is battle-tested coming into this ball game. It's hard to pick a team that's having offensive line issues when they're going up against another top-10 team. But I'll hold my breath, and I'm going to pick Notre Dame to beat Cincinnati 30-27. to Well, those are my guarantees for the Notre Dame-Cincinnati game. Hope you'll join me Monday morning for Sports Beat AM. Starting at 6 on Sports Radio 960 WSBT, WSBTradio.com, and the WSBT Radio app.